Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Welcome to this uh, celebratory update when I tell you about the completion of the Shape Builder Mark II. Um, but before we get into the details, uh, as always, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors, uh, all of the pe people that help pay for the time that I spend on Inkscape. Um, you guys mean the world to me, allowing me to essentially have a dream job of um, building the tool that is available to everybody to be able to do design artwork. Um, thank you so much. Um, okay, so let's get into uh, where we are with the Shape Builder. Uh, the reason why I'm celebrating is because it is basically complete in terms of its its functionality, uh, its stability, and its uh, user exper ex experience, at least for this first revision, because obviously the UX designer, Adam, has all sorts of really interesting ideas for continuing it, um, but he does that for every single feature that I develop, so uh, it's not unexpected. So... Um, let me just walk through what we have. We have currently a shape builder tool that allows you to select multiple ob objects um, for them to be um, fractured into the, their, their overlapping parts. And with those overlapping parts, you can then uh, click, but also drag over them in order to union them or to break them apart and destroy them. Um, through these actions, you can basically build up a shape um, and then press enter or the confirm button to uh, complete it and cre actually create the uh, path that resulted from that, from those all those little shapes that you put together. Um, a lot of you who use other tools are already aware of what the, this kind, kind of functionality can do. Um, but I also wanted a lot of testing. Uh, I didn't want this feature to go out because I knew it would, it would be ho ha, um, high profile. I didn't want it to go out without a significant amount of people. And uh, I know people are excited. So I tricked you all on Twitter by giving you the developer builds and asking you to test it and give me some uh, animations of you uh, using it and testing it out. Uh, through those tests, we were able to discover three major problems, which I then fixed. So thank you all for being uh, good sports with me uh, getting you to try out this feature. I also noticed that a couple of you sneaky scamps have actually released YouTube videos already of uh, both you using it and also you uh, giving some feed feedback on it. Um, so <laughs> those are actually really fun to see. If you want to create a YouTube video as well, I'd, I'd be, I'd be uh, how would you call it? Uh, happy to see it. Uh, okay, so there is a an additional piece of fun functionality that isn't in the main uh, the main merge request, but it is something that I developed on request, which is uh, currently it only deals with two dimensional shapes. That is, uh, you know, closed enclosed shapes, and um, if you just have a single line, the single lines don't bisect like they do in some other tools. So I. Uh, I added that functionality, but because it's disruptive, I added it to a separate merge request. So it's a separate feature. Um, bisecting works quite well. It's probably gonna need some user experience testing. Um, and I think it needs some extra fun functionality because it currently doesn't fill in the holes that are created by two lines that are not over any solid shapes. So if you just have lines and no solid shapes at all, then you have nothing to fracture really. Um, I did make it so that the fracture is available without the shape builder tool. You can actually select shapes and fracture them using the path men menu. So people who are used to using the traditional path tools uh, will still have access to this fun functionality and you can just incorporate it in, in, into the workflow that, that you already have. Um, okay, so that's basically what I've got up to. Let's have a quick look at some of the features and fixes in Inkscape that I didn't do. These are things that have are happening uh, um, with all of the different contributors uh, in, in Inkscape. First of all, PBS, hard work on, first of all, he, he did actually help me with the Shape Builder. He gave me a more cleanup code, which is all, always nice. Um, he's much better at memory management than I am. And so was able to um, make it a little bit faster and a little bit uh, less intensive. So thank you, PBS. Um, he also fixed the font, what does it say here, font factory destructor. Um, 
it's just a problem with crash, cr crash crashing, I think, with the font fac factory. Um, Mykov, uh, he has put together a um, feature that remembers the width of the dialogues that are opened. So if you close Inkscape and then reopen it, the dialogues that reopen are not just not just happen to be the dialogues that you you opened. They're also the same width that you last had them, um, which I'm honestly surprised we didn't already do, but uh, it is what it is. We have a new face, uh, Paris. Now, this is going to be a difficult name to pronounce for an Anglo. Uh, Aplopois. Yeah, Aplopoi. Uh, he did a small refactoring of temporary val val values. Uh, thank you very much for your contribution. And uh, David Burroff did a um, small st status bar text fix. Very simple, not really a programmer's uh, task, um, but it just shows you the kind of small uh, modification to Inkscape that polishes things up that can actually be done by uh, non-programmers -pro 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 if they were, um, should we say, bold enough to go and edit the code. Uh, and that's about it. Um, Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm very interested to hear what you think about the Shape Builder tool. Um, I may take a break this next week, but we'll, I'll, I'll let you know the, uh, the week, uh, next week weekend whether I decided to take a break or not. Because I feel a bit stressed from all of the work. I spent a bit of, a few evenings uh, trying to finish off the Shape Builder so that it could be te tested in time and like get it done in a reasonable time. Um, so I feel like I've earned a bit of a break. Um, but when I come back, I want to start looking at maybe doing CMYK. We'll see. Um, but let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll see you all. I'll definitely see you all next week. May not have any work for you, but we'll see. Bye.